Hi guys, have you ever wondered how the future of civilians looks like? Imagine ultra-fast, secure, and reliable connections powering your IP camera system. Well, wonder no more, because today we are diving into the world of cutting-edge technology with our project on building an IP security camera system using fiber optic cables, specifically PON, the Passive Optical Network. And if you have any question with any of your system design, please feel free to contact us through the link down in the description box below. And our team of experts are here to provide you with the solution that tailored to your specific needs. Passive Optical Network PON is a technology that efficiently connects devices using optical fibers. It works by sending data signal using light waves, ensuring high-speed internet access. Utilizing PON technology in IP camera system offers numerous advantages. Firstly, it provides high bandwidth ensuring swift and seamless data transmission. Secondly, it offers scalability, allowing easy expansion of the network without compromising performance. Lastly, PON is highly reliable, and guaranteeing stable connection is crucial for civilian system. PON proved to be an ideal choice for connecting multiple IP cameras in a civilian setup due to its ability to handle the demand of robust security system and making it a cornerstone technology in a modern civilian solution. So selecting the appropriate equipment for a PON system is important for its efficiency. This includes essential components like the optical network terminal, the ONT, or you can call ONU, optical line terminal, OLT, and the optical splitter, which are highly recommended for seamless connectivity. So when choosing IP cameras for PON networks, it is essential to consider compatibility to ensure smooth integration. Additionally, the quality of cables and connectors cannot be overlooked, as they play a vital role in maintaining stable connection. So opting for high-quality cables and connection is essential to guarantee a reliable and uninterrupted network and also emphasizing the importance of these factors in the overall functionality of the PON system. So setting up a passive optical network involves several key steps for seamless functionality. First, you'll need an optical line terminal, OLT. It is connected to the internet source and the power supply. And next, you need an ONT, the optical network terminal, which is this one. It is linked to the OLT and the IP cameras, ensuring a proper connection between the network and the components. An optical splitter are used to distribute the optical signal effectively, optimizing network performance to maintain the network's efficiency. Proper cable management is crucial, ensuring organized and well-protected cables can help prevent signal loss, enhancing the overall stability and reliability of the PON network. So behind me is the whole setup, and now let's do the connection together and explain the components along the way. So this is our network video recorder, and this is already connected with a monitor. And we also have the GPON OLT, First, I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect our NVR with the Ethernet port of the OLT. This is the Gigabit of Link port and the PON port. And this is a GPON OLT SFP transceiver. I will knit this because this is very connect with the fiber optic cable. So let's plug it into the PON slot and connect it with a fiber optic cable. Coming over here, we have our 1 to 32 optical splitter, and it can split up to 32 different channels through a single fiber optic cable. And this is a passive optical splitter, so as you can see, it does not require any power supply. So I'm going to plug it into the link port, and actually we have two ports. The other one is for backup, 
And since I'm connecting to two IP cameras, so I'm just going ahead to plug in two fiber optic cable. Just like this, moving over here, we have the ONT. So let's connect it to the first ONT and using a short patch cord to connect it with our bullet camera and everything is already been powered up. This one is a Wi-Fi version ONT. Not only can provide Wi-Fi, it can also connect with IP cameras. It has four ports available. And let's connect it with our fiber optic cable first, and then to our Doom camera. And also, it's already powered up. So let's see, the video footage is already displaying on our monitor. I'm going to wave my hand to show you this is absolutely a live video. Here we go. So the whole connection is done. So to maximize the effectiveness of your civilian system, it is crucial to optimize various aspects. Firstly, consider strategic camera placement to ensure maximum coverage, enhancing overall security. Adjusting camera angles and positions further optimize civilians by capturing the intended area effectively. And additionally, regularly checking and adjusting your camera setting to adapt to different lighting conditions is essential for clear footage. And lastly, continuous monitoring of both the network and the camera is vital to promotely identify and address any issues that may arise, and ensuring the system operates at its best capacity. And these optimization steps collectively enhance the performance and reliability of the civilian setup, providing comprehensive security coverage. So that's all for today. Thank you very much for joining us, and I will see you in the next video.